Hello, this tutorial is going to be about using curves in Photoshop. So using curves in Photoshop is a really powerful tool and it's something that can be quite daunting for people um, but it gives great control over tones and colors and highlights and shadows and I can promise you now that once you've done this tutorial you'll be using curves for pretty much every one of your images. So here we go. This is the image that we are going to use and it's a picture that I took down in the New Forest and we're going to adjust it so that it looks like this just by using curves. You can see all of my curves layers down here. Um, so first of all you really want to use curves adjustment layers um, because that gives you an opportunity to adjust the layers as you go. You can use curves directly on the image but that's called a destructive move. By using adjustment layers, they're called non-destructive moves because they don't destroy the original photograph. So down the bottom here, you've got a little icon uh, that you click on and you want to select curves here. And it will bring up this properties, curves properties box here. So let's take you around this box first of all to show you what everything does. Now over here are these little eyedroppers and they are to find your black spot or your gray spot or your white spot. Now what that actually means is that if I click on this one here, which is to find a white spot, um, that's if the color balance of your image is out. So let's say for instance that you forgot to turn your white balance from flash to daylight and it's coming out a little bit blue. What you would do is you will find an area on your image that's white and you will click on that image. I'm just going to use the sunset for now. You will click on that image and it will balance your whole picture um, to that area of white. If you haven't got white in the image then you can use the black one, find a bit of black in your image and the same for um, the grey point here. Now my image was shot correctly so I'm just going to use this reset button here and bring it back down to normal. The next thing I'm going to show you is this drop down box here which allows you to separate your image into certain colors. At the moment it's set to RGB which means that that's the whole image, every single color in your image. But if you click on this drop down arrow you can select just the reds, just the greens, just the blues and also the colors that are opposite to red and blue etc. But I'm going to come back to that in a minute so let's not worry about that for now. The next thing to show you is this preset drop down box here. Now Photoshop has given you uh, lots of different presets that you can use and it would probably be worth you playing around with this because you might like the uh, cross process look there for example. Um, we're going to use it manually so we're not going to be doing that. The next thing to show you is this little pencil here. Now this pencil here will enable you to manually draw a curve over the image. It's very rarely used um, and I'll show you for why in a minute. I'm just going to reset there and I'm going to select back to this one here. The next thing I want to show you is how to adjust the brightness of your picture and it's just these points down here, these arrows down here. This is your black point over here and this is your white point over there. That works like levels. If you know how to use levels in Photoshop, that works just like your levels. The next thing to take note of is uh, this little graph here, which is your histogram. And you can have your histogram again in RGB and in the separate colors. I'm going to come to that again in a minute. And then lastly, the most important thing is this line here. And this is your curve line, which you can push up and you can push and you can pull down. Up making it brighter, going down making it darker. Let's just reset it and put it back in the middle for now. Okay, the first thing to remember when it comes to using curves is this top right box is for highlights. 
pushing it up, these are your highlights, pushing it up and down, you're controlling your highlights. This bottom left box here is for your shadows or your dark points like this. Now, the first thing to understand is that because that really enables you to control the highlights and the shadows within your picture. So now let's put a curve into this image and we're gonna put in the uh, famous S curve. Um, if you don't know what an S curve is, it's one of the best curves that you can use in Photoshop and I can assure you that you'll be putting S curves into nearly every one of your pictures. And all you do is you push your highlights up here, you pull your shadows down here, and it creates this S shape curve. And if I just go back to the original, and then that's the one with the curve in, you can see the difference straight away. It's giving you much more contrast, um, giving you deeper tones, stronger highlights, and um, a nice S curve is something that you could put into nearly every one of your pictures and make it look better. Once I put my S curve in, I'm going to close this box and I'm gonna add another curves adjustment layer, which is down here click on the curves adjustment layer, but this time we're going to look at separating the picture into colors. And that is through this drop down box here. If I click the arrow, I can select the reds, just the reds in the picture. So pushing up will increase the reds, pulling down will pull the reds out. Now what that actually does is adds cyan. So you've got, first of all, trying to remember that, Pushing up adds reds, pulling down adds the color cyan. Now, the next thing is to think about your highlights and your shadows. So I've got a nice sunset here and I want to add some reds into that sunset. The sunset is a highlight. So I'm gonna push the reds up in the highlight box. Now, what you can see in the image is I've now got reds everywhere. So I'm gonna pull the reds out of the shadows, of the dark parts, like that. And I, if I go further, you can see that them dark areas are now going cyan. And now what I've got is highlights that are red and shadows that are cyan. But I'm gonna pull that cyan out like that. So now you can see that all it's done is it's affected the um, highlights, namely the sunset and them clouds. It looks really nice. Now this is where your knowledge of art comes in because what you want is an orange sunset. And if you add yellow to red, it creates orange. So in my drop down menu here, if I click that, what you can see is that there is no yellow here, but what you have is a blue. And opposite to blue on the color wheel is yellow. So again, if I push up, it adds blue. If I pull down, it adds yellow. So I want to add yellow into the highlights. So I pull down into the highlight box and I will push up here into the shadows. And that only affects the highlights and not the shadows. And I can adjust this a little bit further. If I push up, you can see how all the shadow and the dark areas are going blue. And if I pull down, I've only affected now the yellows in the sky. Let's give it a bit more like that. Great, that's good. And the next one is the green, the green curve. I can push up to add green. If I pull down, it adds magenta. So I'm just gonna play with this and see how it looks to be fair. If I pull it down, that magenta in the sky really look, looks nice. Um, makes it look a bit more purpley. So I'm gonna pull it down and put that magenta in the sky and maybe lift it out the shadows a little bit there. Yep, like that. So let me just show you here. That's the before and that's the after. So that's the original with the just the normal S curve. And then that is with a bit of color enhanced using that little bit of knowledge with curves. So I'm gonna get rid of that box for now. And look, I'll just get rid of these. That's the original, that's the S curve, and that's with the color curves. Now I want to make this sunset um, really dark, really deep. 
So I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer. And this time I'm going to use RGB, which is the whole picture, and I'm going to darken it. Now look at that. Look how much I can make this sunset and these clouds really deep and dark. So I'm going to make it to about there. And I'm going to get rid of a bit, bit more actually. And I'm going to get rid of that box there like that. Now what you can see is a lovely dark sunset, and but this area over here is too dark. Now this is where a curves adjustment layer comes in. You can select the mask of that curves adjustment layer. You can use the paintbrush, which is over here. And you can paint over the curves adjustment layer and take away some of that darkness in the areas that you don't want it to be. So first of all, select the paintbrush to so make sure you're on the paintbrush tool and always make sure that you're working on the mask, which is the white part over here. Take your opacity down. Mine's all right there, about 16%, 15, 20, whatever, that's about right. Check that your hardness of your brush is on zero and that's this little option here. And that gives you a nice soft brush. If you use your bracket keys, let's press return there. If you hit your bracket keys, you can make your brush bigger and smaller. And then you're gonna just paint over the areas where you want it to be lighter. And I want you to just look at the curves adjustment layer down here and you can see it's going a little bit gray and that is where I'm taking away this layer so it doesn't show. Now I only want it to be in the sunset. So I will keep going over it until I'm happy. It's a bit too dark up here so I'll take that away a little bit there. And down here I quite like it in the water reflection so I'm going to leave it there like that. Then I'm going to make my brush size smaller and I'm just going to paint over the land part here to bring it back and make it nice and light again like that. Now I can see I'm getting a little edge which I don't want so I'm going to flick my paint back to white by clicking on this. And I'm going to paint with white just on the edge there to bring it back again. Okay, hide the layer. So there is that new adjustment layer that I've put on. And you can see that it's dark in the sunset and it's not, look at this area here, it's not affecting the land just the sky. Now some people might be thinking, well, why didn't you use the burn tool? Well, the burn tool will actually, will literally just burn the image. So it might start to go a bit uh, murky or black. And the other thing with a curves adjustment layer is I can click back on this here, double click on this, and it brings up this original curve and I can make it lighter and darker just in the area that has not been masked off. So. I can even make it darker, or if I think to myself, you know what, let's make it a bit more orange, I can select the blue, put a bit of yellow in it, and look, it makes it a little bit more orange. A bit of red, look at that. Um, I can go like that. I can also take the opacity down of this layer if I don't want it to be too prominent. So let's put it down to about 80%. And that, is how you can use curve adjustment layers to improve your picture. Here's the original, hold down the Alt key and click on your original layer and it will hide everything else. So original curves adjustment, beautiful. And that's it, that's using curves in Photoshop. I hope it's helped you understand using curves more and it's gonna make your pictures look a lot better. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and like us on social media. And I hope to see you soon. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.